Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and it is the end of the month. Happy Halloween. I am doing, sorry, I forgot to open my soda. I'm doing things a little different today. I am attempting to finally be able to record on my webcam to be able to upload it at work. So I have my webcam stacked on top of my phone because I really don't want to record this twice. So if I'm looking at you, that means the webcam worked. How's that sound? So if not, I have to use the phone footage. So let's get started. These videos are always super long and that's why I'm kind of wanting to get into being able to upload them off of my webcam and do it at work where I have high speed internet. Hang on. Today is also a non-makeup day. I don't wear makeup on weekends. So it is what it is. Got my soda. Got my lip gloss on. So let's get started with Scentsy. I thought I was going to focus on, let me grab my piece of paper, Scentsy and then my, I don't know, things kind of went haywire. I was going to do Scentsy, then um, I was also going to focus on my, uh, what was it, pharmacist daughter. I watched Lori Brown's video and she brought up a good point. What is the best Halloween, well, in my opinion, what's the best Halloween? Bretta's. So I did switch over to Bretta's. I have my, my Scentsy, or my Scentsy, my list from Excel, and I kind of made some notes on what I like, what I didn't like, but we're going to start with Scentsy first so that my Scentsy friends can watch that part and then they can click off and I'll continue on to the vendor wax. So um, I didn't really get through a whole lot of Scentsy. This is my Scentsy bag that I use. It's getting a little worse for wear. But let's go through kind of what I got through. First of all, I did finish um, up my washer whiffs in this. Black Raspberry is seriously one of my favorites. Oh, man, I love that scent. I love that scent. The only problem, the thing that I'm having a problem with is my clothes don't seem to like really smell like this afterward right now I've got pink cotton going and then I bought some just stuff from the store my absolute 100% all-time favorite laundry fabric softener is downy April fresh it is my favorite hands down above sensi above everything downy April fresh so I picked some of that up and a generic um, arm and hammer uh, with oxy in it um, seems to work really good with my husband's clothes. So I did a load of that and it, the smell was so strong on my clothes. I was like, oh, holy cow. But if I use this, I don't really smell it. So it's like, do I want to continue getting these? Do I not? The system itself is $50. I always, always get it as a half price deal when I close a party. So I spend $25 for this. The, the, oh, I don't have any in here. The, the, you know the dryer discs and the soap and then I also get the fabric softener in it so and that's an additional cost so I'm in the debate on whether or not I'm going to continue getting these we'll see it might be that I save this system only for my clothes and then wash my husband's clothes in the generic because he doesn't care either way uh, trying to get my garbage can prepped for this extravaganza. Anyway, okay, so let's go through my bag. I got through two sets of pods, and I use the pod system in my laundry room because I don't have the a means to have a warmer in there, and so I use um, the Sensi Go in there, and I can just plug it in. The plug-in is right underneath this shelf in there, um, but I can't have a warmer in there, so. And let's see if I can get through this video without Micah acting up, right? So these still have a smell to them. I love this smell. But it wasn't really, really throwing. And that's why I pulled them out. Let me... Oh, come on. Oh, um, I don't have... What? What do you mean I don't have a catalog here? That is so odd. I don't have my catalog down there. Alright, catalog. 
So, dancing sugar plums. And if you guys can hear the computer, sorry about that. That's it, It's just loud. Okay. So, spiced plum, vanilla, and sweet cinnamon apple. And I th love this scent. It is so good. To me, it's not too strong on the cinnamon because you know I have problems with that. Love it, love it. Okay. Oh, love this one too. Okay. I love this in everything. It's very blessed. I have it in Scentsy Soak scrub wax and these i think i have it in the car but i don't have it in, in my car right now oh man okay this doesn't smell nearly it, it doesn't have as you know as much left over from it but very blessed is vanilla cranberry and sparkling sugar it is so good to me though this absolutely is not a fall winter scent this could be maybe August ish I wouldn't say June July and I don't know that I would say spring but this would be for me a transition scent from the fruity fun fruities over to maybe a little bit deeper richer but not necessarily the pumpkins and the really heavy spice scents so got through that um, I did have a honey pear cider in my car I really liked it and I did not I did not pick up any bars and now I'm really regretting that that I didn't do that but I didn't so oh well it was really good I really liked it it'd be nice if I could try a bar but it is what it is right all right perfect peppermint bedroom scent just pure pure strong beautiful peppermint and I love it another bedroom scent I really can't do without is vanilla mint oh so vanilla mint I think it's vanilla mint okay I think it's vanilla mint hang on so this is wintergreen frost vanilla and frozen citrus it's that frozen frozen citrus I like oh the other one I like is just breathe because it's eucalyptus lemon and mints oh, so good guys Oh, okay. I even got it on my shirt. Look, there's some vanilla mint for you. Anyway, okay. Yum. No, my shirt smells good. Okay, next one. I'll have to be careful with these. Okay, Aladdin. I really, really liked Aladdin. It was fruity and it was fun. Um, it wasn't real deep and rich. It reminds me of pink sugar, sugar berry mint, kind of in it, its lightness and fun, fresh um, berry scent. Really liked it. It's in my club. Next one, cinnamon buttercream. Okay, I don't like this one. I think it's the mascarpone cheese in it that I'm not liking. To me, it just has like an off, off scent. Uh, so... I'm getting all this stuff all over my jeans. Oh, dadgummit. All right, French lavender. This is not a strong lavender. I mixed this with maybe the vanilla mint in my bedroom. I'm always trying to find that comforting, soft, but stronger scent in the bedroom. Um, I need strong in my sinuses. And as you know, that's why I have been on the hunt in Vendor Wax for a nice, strong in the bedroom clear my sinuses type scent but this is beautiful it's soft it it seriously I think of what walking in the French countryside would smell like very nice that is the only one I have I don't think it's out anymore um, I'm not sure that I would get it again gosh I am like covered in oils now um, but I did really like it. This one, okay. That's my, uh, that's my director. I, I think I got a tester or something of Eskimo Kiss after the season was done. And I'm like, why did I not buy any of that? What the heck? Oh my gosh. 
so my um, Sensi sponsor had some and she sent it to me this is now polar bear hug <sighs> I cannot do without this scent. It is so good. So, Polar Bear Hug. Blackberry Jam, Brown Sugar, Vanilla, and Amber. It is so good. This is the scent that is throughout my car right now. I have a scent, the, the satchels. I have a car bar and a car, the scent circles, all in my car. It is so good my this if this went away i would be heartbroken so i'm glad it came back as polar bear hug it will go in my club amazing scent i think it's the blackberry that i love so much because you know i love my blackberry so good okay and then my last scentsy one i tried was bright cider life and i i did think this was good uh let's look up the scent notes you know, if I was like on the ball, I would just stick a sticker on here with the scent notes, but I'm not. Are you kidding? My life's just way too busy. All right, spiced harvest cider, pumpkin, and red apple. And it was it was good. It was it was okay, but it's not what I think I'm trying to get with uh, a harvest scent. Like I love Autumn Road Trip. That as the it has the silver oak in it, so it's just a touch too headache inducing. But I think I could take something like this or maybe, um, what is it, breakfast in bed? Something like that. I need to dive more into my holiday scents. But I was very hyper-focused. As you know, I get hyper-focused. I was hyper-focused on my Brita's this month. And actually, I have three, three Brita's left. That's it. Out of all the Brita's that I owned. I mean, but I didn't own a lot. See, it's not like, you know, my Excel list was, was super long. But um, my, my oh, it's way over there and how I have this camera set up. Um, let, let's hope this works so I can start recording you this way and just uploading you at work. So, all right, let's get through. I mean, I got through quite a bit. So I want to try and do my non-Britas first. Um, since there's less of that. Alright, so I got... Oh, okay. So I ordered this. This was Southbound's Peach Lemonade. And I ordered it for my husband because we like lemonade scents. Especially like a watermelon lemonade. And he loves peach. I'm sorry. I, uh, mm, no, I don't know what it is. It's, it says ripe, juicy peaches blended perfectly with sweet southern lemonade. Mm -mm. No, um, I'll admit I threw it in all the warmers just to get rid of it. There's something off about this and I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I don't like it. Southbound has some amazing scents. They're actually in my melting basket for November. Um, oh, and I think, I think I just got some in. Um, I'm trying to think. I've slept since then. It's my husband's favorite phrase. But no, this peach lemonade was so gross. I just, I don't know if it's the mix. I don't know if maybe this particular peach I don't like. Um... I don't know. It was, I, I couldn't do it. All right. Then I wanted to warm through my super tarts. I noticed one thing with super tarts is it does not really throw for me. So I did two clams um, at a time through my house. So this one is zombie land and I mixed this. Let's see. I think I can kind of separate them out how I warmed them. So all I had were seven clams. That's all I own of Super Tarts. Actually, I might own a Bam bag and a in a coffee scent, um, but that would be in my coffee tub. And my husband's not keen on coffee, um, so I have to be kind of selective on on when I warm it. So I did Zombieland and The Conjuring. So 
Zombie Land is just golden snack cakes and espresso. Nope, can't get through a video without Micah. Mm, my, my. And it's, this is a great scent, but it didn't really throw. I mix it with the Conjuring, which was cappuccino, cream cheese frosting, butterscotch, and whipped cream. This, this was more heavy on the butterscotch for me. Um, it was okay, but again, the problem I'm having with Super Tarts is, is the throw. These were, I got these in August, so it's been like a two-month cure. Because the, the sense, it was part of her Fright Night, her Fright Night set. And so I was kind of looking for more of, you know, the October, November time frame because that, that's more creepy. And so I, I did these this last week because it's closer to Halloween and I thought it'd be fun. It was, it was okay. Um, nothing special. Okay. Next one, Saw, which is cranberry pie crust and vanilla cream. And honestly, it, it wasn't very strong. I didn't really smell this. And I mixed it with Jackal, which is blackberry jam, zucchini bread, and toasted marshmallow. This one, actually, I like because zucchini bread. So one thing I'm beginning to notice is if the scents are more on the light side, uh, if it has zucchini bread in, I can smell it better because I'm really drawn to zucchini bread. It's rich. It's it's more of a strong scent for me. I don't know if I've got nose hair issues or what. I've never had COVID, um, so I don't you know I don't know what it would be to to like lose your scent. This one I really actually enjoyed Jackal because it's blackberry jam and zucchini bread. It wasn't like massively strong, so um, you know I have you know kind of a, it's an open house it's just a manufactured home but it's like one open area and my house is maybe 1200 square feet it's very small um this is affectionately known as the makeup room because i do my makeup right here um, and all my scentsies right there look at my stack of um scent flowers so if you're like on my christmas list just know you'll be getting one of those um but this one, I did enjoy Jackal because I love blackberry jam and I love zucchini bread. So that one was good. Psycho. Oh, no, I didn't like this one. Okay, this is pumpkin bread, raspberry, and spice cake. No, there is something off in this. I don't know if it's the raspberry mixed with more spicy scents. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, didn't like it. Honestly, I hated it. So... And then the last two I mixed together. This is biscuits, vanilla bean, and whipped cream. Really light. Um, this is more to me of a uh, vanilla whipped cream scent. Maybe two months isn't long enough to cure it, but I couldn't smell it. And then French baguette, wild berry mousse, mac apple, and cinnamon. I have discovered in my hunt, I am actually not keen on mac apple. And I have a giant loaf I've already cut up of L3's Zucchini Bread Mac Apple. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I might melt one of my little things to see if, if it's okay, but no, I just don't like Mac Apple. All right, this um, I was pleased to get through. Oh, actually, this I think I mixed with Mr. Hyde. I put a spell on you. I actually got through a whole thing. This is so good from L3. Gosh, I am like going to be covered all over my face in scent. This is really, really good. And, oh, it's like um, cinnamon and maybe, is this the one with pumpkin pasties? I don't remember. Anyway, there's no scent notes on it. But I have this one and in the cranberry, the I put a spell on you cranberry marmalade. I'm excited to get into this, but it's like a cinnamony type of beautifulness. Okay, oh, this one. Okay, I finished this one in the bedroom. This is from the smell uh, that smell good shop. It's peppermint eucalyptus, and it is in a scoopable. So her scoopable. Let me see if I can show it to you. So if you've never ordered that smell good shop scoopable, I don't know if you can see here. I'll do this camera and then this camera. Um, it's oh, so good guys 
It is so strong, but it is kind of gritty. So think of like a sugar scrub. That's the consistency. It is so strong and so good. But I wish she did this maybe not in scoopables, but more in her, um, you know, those six pack and 12 packs of like little squares she does. I wish she did it in, in that. And I have looked and I haven't seen it, so I might ask her because this is so strong. It's, it's beautiful. Eucalyptus and peppermint and it just, mm, it clears the sinuses. So this is like, okay, so I use those Vicks Vapo sticks. You just snuff it up your sinuses because I obviously, I've mentioned before, I have sinus problems. This is just like, it's so strong. It's beautiful. So if you're looking for a nice, beautiful one, this one's fantastic. Loved it. All right. I got through this little scent cup. This came from my friend Susan. Um, I had, uh, she had sent me some happy birthday. Love you, Susan. Anyway, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from um, Up the Creek Scents. I don't know what camera to use. Anyway, really good. Um, so vanilla pumpkin. I'm usually not a huge pumpkin marshmallow person, but this was really good. I warmed it in here and in the bathroom since I had just this little shot cup. I really did like it. Oh. 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 Yes. Okay. Another one. Sorry. I thought I had them all. Predator. Predator's cappuccino, coconut, whipped cream, and pie crust. This is actually pretty good, but the cappuccino is different than her espresso because the cappuccino has that more creaminess to it. I think I prefer the espresso, but I mean, it was okay. I just don't think super tarts is for me. Uh, I have so much wax. It's obscene. And if I don't melt different scents every day, and even on weekends sometimes I'll melt two different things, there's no way I'll ever get through it in a lifetime. And I really should stop ordering, but... Excuse me, can't. Uh, so I'm, I am looking at all the vendors that I buy from, and I think I'm going to narrow it down to specific vendors that I want to continue... Um, purchasing from so that's kind of what I'm doing right now is is doing that so this week I want to I want to talk about the three that I just just did so do you remember SEMO um, SEMO wax melts had put out these different melts and they were in the shape of like the McDonald's Halloween, you know, pails you used to get. So I got three. So one was a witch, one was a pumpkin, and one was a ghost. So it was my, um, my goal to warm those. I did Friday, no, Thursday, no, no, Friday, Saturday, because it took two pails to do the house. So good morning, pumpkin. This is a really, really nice pumpkin. But I'll, I'll admit it only lasted a couple hours. Um, I'm not sure why usually I have great throw with SEMO. Um, but it is a nice pumpkin scent. The next one I did was pumpkin pecan waffle bake. Again, only lasted a couple hours. I did... Oh, I did this one. And it's really good. Um, not as nutty as I normally experience, but um, it was good. With my favorite, which was in The Witch, which was so cute, of Amish bread candy corn buttercream. But unfortunately, I mean, this was really good on cold. It was fantastic, actually. But when I was warming it, I only got that, you know, when you're, you first start warming something, you get that initial hit of warm or of smell. I got that, and then after that, I, I don't think I went nose blind, but it just didn't last. I was so disappointed because I love Amish bread. All right. I'm trying to pull out my Brita's because we're since we highlighted Brita's, I, I want to set those ones aside. Um... Okay. 
way. Since I did all my Brita's, it's like, do to do Brita, 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 Brita. Because I want to talk to you about my melting experience with Brita's. Alright, I think I've got most of them pulled out. If I find more, I'll just pull them aside. Okay. So, one of my absolute favorite. Did I only do one of these? I must have only done one. This is from Vintage Chic Set Sense. I love Vintage Chic. It, oh, she's so good. Okay. Deputy Dewey Embeds with Ghost Face Over Pour. So good, guys. Oh my gosh. Sweet Pumpkin. Yellow Cake and Zucchini Bread with Caramelized Pralines cream cheese frosting, and zucchini bread. It is so yummy. You get that, that sweetness from the sweet pumpkin and the yellow cake with the cream cheese frosting, and then you've got zucchini bread. I have a few of these. This was a, an overpour souffle. I have a few of these. So good. I love Deputy Dewey. It's one of my favorites, and I'm really liking Ghost Face. So good, so yummy. Um, I got through a few sample sizes from Sassy Wax Melts. Okay. You'll float two. So they're just bags. I don't know why I need to show you. So you float you'll float two, which is fresh pretzel, candy corn, and palo, palo santo. And um, it was Palo Santo heavy, but it wasn't it wasn't horrible. I I actually liked it pretty good, so I did I warmed that in here. Um, pumpkin peanut brittle. If you haven't tried Sassy Wax Melts pumpkin peanut brittle, you're missing out. It is so good. That's why I got. Oh my gosh, that's why I got customs of it. It is so sweet and. It, I could seriously warm this every day for the rest of my life and be content. I'd be bored, but I'd be content. So good, guys. So, so good. Uh, next one, eucalyptus spearmint. I warm this one in the bedroom. So pretty much if there's any kind of eucalyptus, mint, that kind of thing, they're all going to be bedroom melts. This is really sweet mint. This is not like yucky peppermint strongness if you don't like peppermint. It's very sweet. It was not strong enough um, to outlast the fan, but it made the bedroom smell really nice and sweet when we went to bed because I usually start warming it about an hour before we go to bed. Next one is banana crepes, maple sugar, and pumpkin puree. This is more mapley than I think I would care for. It was just okay. Oh, and then this one, cozy up. So it's Cozy Flannel, Autumn Delight, and Brown Sugar. So I smelled this one and I'm like, a oh, hold up. And I turned, I immediately warmed it. Even, no, the poor date was fine. So I immediately warmed it, turned around, and ordered again with Cozy Up. I had to have more. It is just this beautiful sweet just slightly sweet with that cozy flannel and oh, it's hard to describe I'm sorry it is so good though guys so you need some cozy up in your life next all right so Drew and I were gosh I know I, I itch my nose a lot during this but Drew and I were talking about cupcakes at Tiffany's and one day I had worn some something with cupcakes and Tiffany's and I and I wasn't really keen on it so I thought oh, okay well I don't like cupcakes at Tiffany's and but I knew I had a bag of nothing but Rose Girls cupcakes at Tiffany's and her mini melter so I thought I'm just gonna melt throughout the house because one one bag melts my house so I thought okay I'm gonna warm this and I'm gonna see all right is it cupcakes at Tiffany's or maybe it was the blend and I actually liked I liked cupcakes at Tiffany's. I can't really smell it now, but um, yes, you could smell a hint of of chocolate, but it's not like 
chocolate. And it's got that toffee in it too. I actually really liked it. So now I have discovered that I actually do like cupcakes at Tiffany's. Um, I don't know if there's different oils that have a different feel to them. But I did like Rose Girls Cupcakes at Tiffany's. This was in May. So maybe because it cured really well, you know, I ended up liking it. Oh, I thought I had this in last month's. May no, because I would have... Oh, oh, heck, I don't know. Okay. Destination Wax Kale Salad. I'm not even going to smell it. Kale Salad. No. Nope. Gross. Didn't like it at all. Okay. So, I, I wrote Rose Girls on here. Sometimes I get the samples wrong. Sorry, guys. Especially if all it has is a name and not who poured it. Okay. So, this one. Cider Lane and Carbs. This was good. It was very sweet, though. It, it's very sweet. I didn't realize Cider Lane was so sweet. So for me, because it's got that sweet apple, I don't know if it's Mac Apple or what, but um, I would need to add more of a carb to it to kind of bring it more bakery. So that was my, my thought on that one. Um, Nene's Kitchen Melts. This was Snickers Candy Coffee Bar. And it's, it's a good coffee. I think it's a good coffee. I think I do like Snickers coffee. And there's I found it in many vendors. And I really liked it. I love coffee. I warmed it at work. I thought it was great. Okay. Lurid Apothecary. Jack and Sally. I honestly, I don't know the scent notes of this one. Um, but I know I liked it. No, I can't. I Honestly, I can't even tell you what was in it. I just remember liking it. Um, I don't know if I ordered more though, but I did like that. Okay. So for, I had this like work melting bag that I just kind of went through a bunch of my different things and I just used these little Scentsy, um, sample bags and I put wax in it. This was Witches Be Crazy by Teddy Bees. So I warmed it at work. Witches Be Crazy is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon and cinnamon spice and vanilla. I wrote amazing sweet cake yum. Oh, I dropped it in here. I should have sniffed it. Dang it. Where are you, little bugger? I dropped it in the bag, and now the bag is like, oh heck, I don't know. It was so good, guys. I'm going to sniff on that. Where did you go? I'm like having a little, like, where did it go? Alright, it doesn't matter where it went. Oh, there it is. Let's smell. Yeah, can't really smell it. Anyway, it was really, really good. I've been kind of curious about Teddy Bees. Some of the stuff hasn't thrown real well for me, um, which is be crazy. Amazing. Loved it. Okay, so, oh. Uh, sassy Wax Melts Buttercup. Oh, it's called Buttercup. So it's sweet cornbread, bet your butterscotch, and sugar milk. Um, I'm trying to remember what I thought of this one. I think I liked it. Otherwise, I probably would have put a sad face on it, but... This is the unfortunate part of me only doing this once a month. I know, but it is what it is. I just don't have a ton of time. Um, Leave Me Alone, I did not like. Brown sugar fig, blue sugar, vanilla, custard, and fall leaves. Um, didn't like that. Carnival Nights, which was Rice Krispie Treats, Cotton Candy, Vanilla Sugar, and Waffle Cone, I thought was just okay. Um, the Melted Mousse, Lilacs, and Lemonade. I must have gotten this from someone. Oh, or I got this in the Melted Moose um, haul I did. And it, it's nice, but it is lilacs. I'm going to warn you. It's lilacs. So, it was nice. I melted that in the bathroom. Cream soda. Oh, L3 cream soda bubble gum. This was so good. I honestly got, I was really surprised because it was like, bubble gum mixed with cream soda. I don't know. It was so good. It was sweet and bubblegummy with that just a hint of that cream soda. Oh, really liked that. 
Simo's Sugar Spun Pear. If I recall, I didn't like it. No, I didn't. Um, there's something about the pear. I'm, I have found that I'm not a huge pear person, so. All right. I want to do all my pharmacist daughter together, so I'm trying to grab out the other stuff. Um, oh, okay. So Sassy Wax Oktoberfest, which was pumpkin harvest, caramelized pralines, and zucchini bread. See? And I wrote yum. And I believe I ordered some more. Yeah. This is really good. You get that hint of caramelized praline in there. I can still smell it. Okay. And the pumpkin harvest, whatever pumpkin harvest is, I really liked. And of course, you know, I love anything with zucchini bread. Very, very good. And then I went through, I'm assuming it must have been like a, a bitty bitty loaf of coffee bean, Danish butter cookies, and waffle cone. This was fantastic. You can still smell the coffee. Oh, so good. So I love Danish butter cookies. And then with that coffee bean. Mm. I like my coffee mixed with a bakery. So really, really like that. So let's do, because I started out the month wanting to get through all my pharmacist daughter so I can get a feel for its throw in my house. Um, and then switched over. Lori, sometimes you're such a bad influence. Anyway, so... Let's do our pharmacist daughter that I started with. And also pharmacist daughter was one of the first I ever ordered from. So I know the stuff is well cured. So strawberry shortcake. This was strawberry pound cake, glazed donuts, and vanilla ice cream. Uh, I'm not a huge strawberry person, but this one was, was not bad. I think because it had the other things, it wasn't just strawberry pound cake. And this was in a cute, like, little, it was like a little basket with strawberries in it. It was really cute. I do like the way they pour their decorating. Um, this one threw, you know, fairly well, I'd say. Um, and it was a good one. I liked it. Next one is PG-13, which is Mac Apple Funnel Cake Sweet and Creamy. This one was just okay. This is when I started realizing I don't know that I'm a huge Mac Apple person. It was okay. It was okay. Not one I would order again. Um, these were all poured. These were all poured on 5-5. Five five. This is blueberry muffin. And this was a cute little muffin. Um, blueberry and tea and cakes. And this was, it was okay. It didn't really have much of a throw. And you know I love my blueberry. Port 6-1 was Summer Treat, which is Summer Scoop Vanilla Sugar Waffle Cone. Honestly, I didn't like it. I don't think I like Summer Scoop. So, it's nothing about Pharmacist Daughter. I just don't think I like Summer Scoop. Uh, next one, Port 330. Um, oh, yeah, this was one of the very first ones I ever ordered. It's called Citrus and Mints. And it was moringa leaves, spearmint, pomegranate, raspberry, and citrus. And it was just, I'm sorry, it was weird. It was weird. I melted it. It was weird. All right, poured 5-5. Five five. They poured a lot on 5-5. Five five. Anyway, raspberry tart. Black raspberry, vanilla, and pink sugar. I liked this one because I love raspberry and you can get that hint of pink sugar. It adds, one thing I've noticed, some raspberries are a bit on the florally side, but not like floral, you know, and then with that pink sugar, this one was really, really good. And that, um, that it was in a like cute little tart. That oh, was so cute. This one, I wasn't sure. Port 6-1, Blonde Moment strawberries, raspberries, citrus peel, and pink moscato. It's called pink berries. I just, I don't know if I melted it at the wrong time. I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah. Okay. Next one, not just a headache, which is lavender and peppermint. And this was one of their, um, their blends that they do for charity and stuff. It was good. I really liked it. It's peppermint and lavender. But it wasn't very strong. And then I got this one from my friend Casey. I had 
asked her if she had this. This is Shave and a Haircut with Rosemary Mint. And this was good. I did like this. I love Rosemary Mint. Um, if you didn't know, um, Kirby at Vintage Chic Set Scents poured a bunch of new shaving cream ones. And one has Rosemary Mint. Or maybe a couple have Rosemary Mint. Very excited. So this was good. I did really like this. Okay, so let's let's now we'll go through all my Brita's. Um, here's all the Brita's, and I'm already at 40 minutes. Ugh. Okay, let's hope I have notes on everything. Okay, zombie waffles. I just crossed it off. So pumpkin pecan waffles and pumpkin pie spice. Mm, yes, this one was very good. It had really good throw on this one, and I think it's because pumpkin pecan waffles is a more stronger scent. This one was really good. Definitely one I would order again. Very pumpkin-y and spicy goodness. Oh, this is my hands-down favorite Brita scent. Benny's Coffee. And I still have Benny's Coffee. I have a few ba a couple bags in here because I kind of put it all together. But her Benny's coffee is espresso brown sugar and zucchini. It is amazing. Oh my gosh, guys! It is the espresso. It's that beautiful coffee with that brown sugar and the zucchini bread, and it is so good. This is by far the best coffee Brita's makes and I will continue ordering this particular so I have other coffee blends in here nothing compares to this one nothing Benny's coffee is where it's at for me okay I know I have some multi oh yeah here's another Benny's coffee I melted quite a bit of Benny's coffee I will admit all right okay cookie coma I know I made notes on some of these. Okay, Cookie Coma is peanut butter cookies, chocolate chip, cookie dough, and sweet and creamy. I said very good and strong. All right. I'm not smelling the peanut butter in the bag. I'm glad I made notes because I have quite a bit of different cookie scents with Brita's. Um, if I recall, this one was a nice strong one. The other one I did was Cromwell cookies, which is animal cookies, sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, and um, vanilla ice cream. This one, if I recall, me sugar cookie coma. No, Cromwell cookies. I wrote yum, but if I recall, cookie coma was stronger than Cromwell cookies. They were both very good cookie blends. I liked them, but the cookie coma was stronger um oh did i melt that one oh dadgummit i wasn't going to melt that one yet okay here's more cromwell cookies here's more benny's coffee i told you i had a lot of benny's coffee okay so one thing i found in my melting of brita's so here's ice cream stand summer waffle cone do, do, do. Oh, did I have more of that? Oh, here's more cookie coma. Okay, we'll touch, talk about these. Okay, so summer waffle cone is summer scoop whipped cream waffle cone. It was really light, guys. I couldn't hardly smell it. Ice cream stand, which was orange sherbet, strawberry, mango. Maybe I'm melting them in the wrong season. It was really light, too. It is... It's a beautiful fruit. Don't get me wrong. Okay, this one is the ice cream stand. What did I... I didn't. This one, you can definitely smell orange sherbet. And I love orange sherbet. But I'm wondering if maybe because it's fall, I wasn't feeling it. So I wasn't noticing it as much. Um, I will probably order this again and melt it in the summer or spring. But yeah, summer waffle cone, if I, I wrote on here, I wrote just okay. It's summer scoop, and I'm not a huge summer scoop person. Um, 
Monster Delight. I wrote on here, it's too light. It's sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, sweet and creamy, waffle cone, and very vanilla. And these have all, this was poured in May. It was a very light scent. I really couldn't smell it, which was really frustrating. Um, okay, coconut butter cookies, which is Danish butter cookies and coconut cream pie. Really light is what I wrote. So I must not have been able to smell this one either. No, I can definitely smell coconut, like coconut, oh, gosh. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, when you get those Danish butter cookies at the end of the season, you know, in the holiday season, and sometimes they taste kind of coconutty, or you can get like coconut Danish butter cookies. That's what it smells like. It was really good. I just wish it was way stronger is all. Okay. Monster Delight. I must have had a couple of those. All right. This one, Batty for You, which is Wildberry Mousse, Coconut Cream Pie, and Blackberry. I wrote on here really light. And it must have been smelling the bag. I can definitely smell coconut and the Wildberry Mousse. And I love a good Wildberry Mousse. I, and a hint, a hint of Blackberry. Um, poured in, in June, so plenty of cure time. It just was really light. Didn't really throw real heavy for me. Okay, Neighbor from Hell. How many of you guys have Neighbors from Hell? I don't. Okay, I don't. My neighbors are my in-laws. And I like my in law I love my in-laws. Okay, so Neighbor from Hell. Lexi, don't laugh at that. I know my daughter Lexi watches my videos. All right. Butter mints, blackberry jam, and whipped cream. So what did I write? Oh, I wrote too light again. on it. I can definitely smell mint, butter mints. Definitely still, even in the bag, I can smell the butter mints. I think um, I just, it was too light. Twisted Wonderland, which is tea and cakes, blackberry, and lemon curd. Definitely lemon curb and black, or curb, curd and blackberry. I'm not sure I'm smelling tea and cakes. And I know that's one of Lori's favorites. Um, don't know that I can smell that. Creeps and berries, tea and cakes, blackberry jam, and blackberry. You know, I, I think it took two, two different bags. I think I warmed this one with the other one because I tried sticking, okay, tea and cake stuff together and you know what I mean. I don't really smell it. Did I write anything on creep and berry? I didn't. I can smell blackberry jam. I love blackberry jam. Um, but one thing I have found Brita's does really well, coffee. Okay, pumpkin espresso. I believe this was a coffin based on the size of the bag and the colors. It was so sad to cut some of these up. They were so cute, especially the coffin. Oh my gosh, guys, if you've never had one of Brita's coffins, they're awesome. They're, I mean, they're like artwork. You don't want to cut it up and melt it because you could seriously set it out as part of your display. Her artwork is. Okay, so pumpkin espresso. I didn't write anything down. Definitely. Okay, I like her espresso. I think that's, isn't that what's in Benny's? Yeah, so Benny's is espresso. This one, you, I love her espresso. You can definitely smell it with the pumpkin pecan waffles because you can smell the pecans from the PPW. This was really good. I didn't think it was like overly strong, but I think it was a nice, pleasant coffee scent. And remember, I can't do real strong on coffee because my husband. Okay, I finished this one off yesterday. And this was something big, obviously. It's Salem Got Baked. It was so good, guys. Pumpkin zucchini bread, pie crust, apple cider donut. And I loved that. So this was poured in June. This had plenty of cure time to come into season now. I love that she poured this stuff in June. It is so strong. Beautiful. I mean, talk about beautiful apple cider. It is so good. Oh, I need more Salem Got Baked. It is so good. One of my favorites. My favorite all-time of Brita's, hands down, is Benny's Coffee. Above 
any anything else I need Benny's coffee in my life I still have some when if I run out I will seriously have a heart attack it is that good so pumpkin zucchini bread which you know I love my zucchini bread but with that apple cider donut so good, so good guys so good I need more all right these I melted these today these are my melts today so I'll talk about those last okay pumpkin pie oh this was an owl you or a, a bat you can see the outline I don't know if you can see. no you can't so it this was a bat so her brittle bats which were so cute so pumpkin pie sweet pumpkin pumpkin pie spice pie crust and whipped cream I start getting lightheaded because I get so excited I start whiffing on these and I'm like plus I'm talking really loud did I write I didn't write anything okay this one if I recall smelling the bag definitely can smell pumpkin pie spice absolutely um I believe I really liked this one I think I kind of pumpkined myself out just a touch um but it was really good I liked it um I'll probably order it again for next season oh Dean so Dean was hot apple pie and bourbon sauce it was just a small little pumpkin head so I I just warmed it in here this was really good I wrote on my note beautiful autumn and yes absolutely and i think i really like this hot apple pie apple cider i think i'm more apple than i am pumpkin so when i oh gosh it was a while ago i had seen something on facebook and are you team apple or team pumpkin i'm team apple cider not like mac apple but i'm like team apple cider and this was a beautiful apple pie type apple cidery yumminess Jack's Cappuccino, which is pumpkin latte, brown sugar whipped cream. It was really light, guys. I mean, it was okay, but I like Britta's espresso. Her espresso is strong and wonderful. I think I like cappuccino-y type scents less. That, you know, the cappuccino, the latte, things that decrease the coffee. Um, I want coffee and then, like, bakery not milky coffee and bakery does that kind of make sense so cat i mean jack's cappuccino was fine just not my favorite Samhain, um which was pumpkin latte zucchini bread pumpkin pecan waffles sweet and creamy did i write down Samhain? oh i said starts good didn't last long okay yes i can definitely smell pumpkin pecan waffles and a hint of coffee from the latte um yeah I mean it was okay but as I wrote it didn't last long I'm glad I wrote these notes I need to be better at writing writing notes and I just kept a piece of paper on my desk and I need to do that because my my box for this month is randomness so okay uh all right this is the one I'm no this is the one I'm bummed that I warmed I can't believe I warmed it New Year's Eve party why didn't I save this for New Year's Eve? No rhyme or reason. Strawberry toast, blackberry, and peach. I wrote, okay, very light, but can smell the peach. You can definitely smell the peach. Peach, the peach nectar in this, or I wrote peach nectar, but the peach definitely out there very very good peach um i just wish it was more intense okay and then the two that i am melting today trick-or-treat and halloween party because what's today halloween yes i know i'm uploading this on november 1st but today is halloween so i have this going today and I have it mixed and matched throughout the house, in here and in there. Okay, Halloween party is pumpkin crunch cake, vanilla bean, marshmallow, and candy corn. 
mm, pumpkin crunch cake all the way. Very good. And then this trick or treat is zucchini bread, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, and candy corn. Zucchini bread. These mixed together, my house smells like harvest. Oh, so good. Okay, if I had to choose one, hands down, I would choose trick or treat because it has zucchini bread. They are very good. They were strong at first. I can smell them now, but they're not strong. So, um, what I have left, Christmas wake up call. So I'm going to wait for Christmas. Like I should have done the New Year's Eve scent. I of course have Benny's coffee. Did that one. Oh, and one evil summer, which is key lime pie, lemon meringue pie and orange sherbet. I didn't want to melt that one yet only because I really do want to melt that in, in the summer. Um, so other than that, that's it. So I have Benny's coffee, Christmas wake up call. Oh, I have ooey gooey coffee, which is coffee, espresso, butter, brickle, sugar, cooking, caramelized pralines. I'll probably melt that tomorrow because that sounds so good. And then one evil summer. So other than that, I got through it. Now know that Brita's is doing, I believe it's an advent um, 15th, 16th, something like that. It's an RTS. It's not a pre-order, so be prepared. She has three different, she has um, Fruity Bakery. If I'm remembering the categories right, it's Fruity Bakery, Masculine Fresh, maybe Masculine Fresh or something, and then you can get a box that's mixed. And of course, I posted on there, I'm getting Fruity Bakery. Britta, she knows her customers, guys. She goes, I knew you would. So that is one thing about Brita's. So since I kind of highlighted Brita's today or this month, I'm going to tell you some of Brita's didn't throw. That's not a surprise. You're not going to have a hundred percent throw of every cent from every customer or from every vendor. Um, but Brita's her, um, customer service. Amazing. Her coffee, amazing. If you guys haven't tried Benny's coffee, you need to, but please save some for me. Please save some for me because I need more Benny's coffee. Because I have, I have one of those big bags full to the brim of Benny's coffee. Um, some of her fruit scents are a little light for my house. That's okay. I notice a lot of just fruit scents are light for my house. It's almost like I need those really heavy, like zucchini-ish bread ones. Um, her style, uh, I mean, she knows her theme and she is 100% spot on with her theme. It's amazing. Um, ones I will absolutely order again, Benny's Coffee. Salem got baked. I want to try um, some more trick or treat. I did really like that one. Um, the New Year's Eve, I know it was light, but it, I think if I had a larger quantity, I'd like to see that because I liked the peach so well. And I really liked Dean because it's that spiced apple cidery type scent that I like. It's not ma sweet Mac apple. It's, it's different. So, um, so actually, you know what? I might pull out some of the Halloween scent today. So let's go ahead and add ooey gooey coffee to what I'm melting today. Um, here, let me grab it real quick. I know, you guys get to see me stand up. Okay, here's my ooey gooey caramel. I have garbage cans down there. Okay, so ooey gooey caramel. And this is what it looks like. Coffee, espresso, sugar cookie, butter brickle, and caramelized pralines. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm going to love this. I need to go put this in. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go put this in. I'm not going to have it in next month's melting basket. Just know that I loved it. Because guess why? It has espresso. Anyway, that's what I got for you for October. I'll see you guys in my net November. What I melted and it's, it's a hodgepodge. Let's see if I could gradually move you over there. It's right there. And it's filled with a lot of one-offs or ones that um, I really don't have a lot of. So catch you in the next video, guys. 
Have a happy Halloween. Bye.